Hi YouTube, um, welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to just be sharing some tips on how to stay healthy um, during this coronavirus outbreak. Um, I first want to um, encourage everyone and to be um, a vessel of hope and in this hour i know a lot of people are really struggling mentally and emotionally with what has been happening and um it's just a very difficult time it's a very challenging time for everyone and um i know there are those that are are just like you know they don't they don't really see the seriousness of it or they think this is a huge party and you know or you know they want to make this be a, a huge blame game and stuff but really and truly you know this is a very um um serious time and it's something that that the world has never collectively experienced um together like 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 now um you know there have been times where different nations or different countries have had um outbreaks or had situations but for the whole entire world to be going through something so uh devastating you know it's definitely an eye opener and um you know this is also a good time you know even through um challenging times it can also be a, a great time for individual it just depends on how you look at it and, and, and what your perspective is in it. And so I wanna just encourage everyone to just be positive, as positive as you can, um, and not allow um, the, media, the media or allow what you're hearing or even seeing to um, make you fearful and to make you afraid. I think that it's just very important to continue to have hope and to continue to um, believe that, you know, this will get better, that it will, this too shall pass, and that, you know, um, we will continue to, to thrive and to move forward. And, you know, it's just unfortunate that, um, that, that there are gonna be those that, that will perish. And, um, you know, that's the sad part, you know, and the, 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 the sad part is what happens along the way. And so I just want to encourage everyone, um, those that are watching, that are going to be you know, viewing this um, just to be as pos positive as possible and and to really think about what is really important. What What is the priority right now? You know, some of us have had our priorities in the wrong place and we focus on the wrong things. And this is really an eye opener to force us and to put us in a position where we have to really think about our families, think about our, our health, our lives, you know, life is so precious and a lot of people take life for granted and they, they don't really um, understand that life is something that is so precious and is not promised to anybody. And so um, instead of allowing the media to fill your head with negativity and and uh, fear and all of these different things. We need to put our mind and our hearts on what really matters and put our hearts and our minds on, on, um, on our relationship with God and, 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 and our relationships with one another. I think that that is really the message that if you were to get a message to get that message, I think that that's the message that you need to get. And, um, you know, life is not about 
money, it's not about houses, it's not about cars, it's not about all of this vanity and all of this stuff and how good you look and all of this um, and what you got and materialism and stuff. But it's about your relationship with God and your relationship with one another. Um, yeah. So I just want to just encourage everyone just to stay positive and to begin to just seek out ways of keeping your mental space healthy, first of all, keeping your mind and your thoughts healthy, focusing on, and I'm not saying you have to hide yourself from the what's going on, but, you know, don't sit and watch the news all day and, you know, just don't continuously be bombarded with, you know, all of this everything that's happening but you know keep yourself aware but um put your put your mind and your heart on positive things you know um you know get into the word of god and get into prayer and, and uh, meditating and on his on his goodness and thanking him for even being alive you know for him giving you another day to breathe and to see and to you know reprioritize yourself and your life and stuff so um every day that you open your eyes and you take a deep breath into your lungs and you are able to get up and you're able to even be around your house doing whatever you want to do uh is a blessing and uh, it may not necessarily be the best of circumstances it may not be the best that it could be uh, but i i think as long as you keep hope and you continue to protect your mind space and your heart space with positivity, I think that that's what help, will help you to continue to move forward and not allow yourself to be brought down into depression and into all of these other things that can negatively impact you, not just mentally, spiritually, but can impact you physically. Um, so the first thing is to, to keep your mental space and keep your emotional space healthy and strong um, because we have an immune system physically and then we also have an immune system uh, spiritually. And so I think it's important to build up your immune system in the spirit um, when things come to try to attack your spirit, man, and attack your mind, you need to be equipped and have a strong spiritual immune system. Um, so that's first and foremost. Um, to just think think of, you know, even praying for those that may have not have prayed for a long time, you know. You know, now's the time to really turn um, turn your hearts to, to, to God and to really, you know, he's the only one that can help you. I mean, I, I know... Um, he is the only one that can help you. And, you know, you know, we have technology and we have the scientists and we have medicine and we have all this stuff. And that's great that those things are wonderful. You know, they have been given us to us to help bring people back to life and to, you know, keep people healthy and well. But ultimately, it is God who breathes breath in your lungs every day and, and keeps you, your brain working throughout the night and your body uh, working throughout the night to wake you up. So I think that starting there, thanking him for a, another day, not focusing on, you know, all this other stuff and complaining about things, but really thanking him for giving you breath and giving you life when so many other people are, are, are not making it through. Um, I think that, that that's a good place to start to keep your mind uh, and your heart in a uh, a well place. It's all about health and wellness, not just physically, but health and wellness, spiritually and mentally and emotionally. Um, having a strong spiritual immune system. Yeah. Um, so part of having a strong spiritual immune system is to get into your word, get into prayer, um, having positive conversations, um, even setting goals, even though a lot of people are on quarantine or lockdown, even in your home, finding, giving yourself something to do every day, I think is a very, um, good thing to do. Um, it's a project that you started, you never finished or a book that you put down and you never finished, or you've been wanting to start, 
Give yourself goals. Uh, start a, taking a class online. Give yourself something to uh, work towards while you are self-isolating and in, in the home. Um, it's unfortunate that a lot of you know, we, we don't know the ramification of what this will all bring, but I see that even with this, that after the fact, even after they find a vaccine or get a legitimate uh, medication, that there's going to be a lot of people that are going to have um, PTSD and that are going to have some trauma situations going on and even miss a mental um, uh, situations like depression and stuff because of this. So, you know, um, it's important to um, understand the seriousness of it, that this is not just a, a physical attack, but this is also an attack on people's mindset. Um, so, um, yeah, I think that it's important to do self-care physically and to keep ourselves physically um, um, safe, but to also keep ourselves mentally safe. Um, starting a new project, getting involved, giving yourself goals every day or every once a week, have give yourself, give yourself a goal to complete, um, having conversations with people, um, positive conversations, you know, all of these things, you know, I think it's just time to just really focus on, um, positive things while we're going through what we're going through. Um, um, not being so caught up on, materialistic things and all of the things that so often we have been kind of caught up in. Um, you know, this is just a time where a lot of people are going to move into desperation and, and um, you know, just, yeah, it just, we just need to just stay in a, in a very safe space and a very protected space within ourselves and within our own hearts and minds so um doing whatever it is that you need to do to keep you in that place i think is very uh first and foremost in and having uh good health and good 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 um mental health as well as good physical health um during this time um so as far as keeping your physical body uh, at optimum, um, I have a couple of recommendations. Um, I'm not a doctor or a nurse or anything like that, um, but I have been in healthcare for a very long time. I've worked in the healthcare industry for a long time, as well as I have um, had to care for uh, my, my parent, um, dealing with health uh, situations. So I'm very well abreast and knowledgeable of different things to help to keep your, um, keep you, keep you healthy. Um, as always, I would recommend to consult with a doctor or your doctor before you take any new supplements or anything that I'm going to suggest. Um, but the first thing I would say is, um, when you're, aside from the mental health and the emotional health um, is to make sure that you are not stressing yourself out. Make sure that you're not um, becoming fearful and, and, and full of anxiety. Um, that really wears your body down. It wears your immune system down. So whatever you have to do to keep yourself in a peaceful place, in a place where you're not stressed out, in a place where you're not worrying, um, you need to do that. Um, another tip would be to make sure that you are getting plenty of rest. Uh, rest is so important for your body, for your immune system. Um, getting, this is a time where most people are not having too much to do outside the home. Um, but I would suggest making sure that you're getting at least, um, a full good night's rest, um, allowing your body time to repair, to, to heal, to do what it what God has created it to do. Um, another thing is to drink plenty of water. Make sure you're drinking a lot of water um, throughout the day. Waking up in the morning, when you wake up, drink down a bottle of water um, just to get things going. Um, water is so very important 
to your immune system. It is how your immune cells are able to navigate and do what they do. So when you're dehydrated, when you're not drinking enough water, it literally makes it more difficult for your immune cells to move about and, and, and attack and do what they have to do. So making sure that you are fully hydrated, um, understanding that your body is made up of uh, water and needs water in order for your organs to function properly, in order for your immune system to be optimal, you need to drink a lot of water. I've been, um, you know, telling my family members, make sure you drink water and reminding myself, make sure I drink water on a regular basis. Um, I tend to drink, um, I try to drink um, anywhere between um 60, well, I want to say 60, about 75 to like 90 ounces of water a day. Typically, what you want to do is you want to take your weight and you want to divide it and you drink your, you drink your water equal to the amount of your weight divided in half. So if you are 140, you weigh 140, you need to be drinking like 70 ounces of water a day. To be to be hydrated um stay away from the sodas and all of the sugary stuff those things wreak havoc or excess sugar wreaks havoc on your your body and your immune system so you really want to just stay away from you know carbonated drinks i mean if you do drink it try to drink it as minimum as possible but drink more water um, now is the time to really drink a lot of water if you want to keep your your body working at its peak and then also your immune system working optimal uh, where it needs to so that your, your immune cells can function fully the way they need to function. Um, um, I also would recommend, um, you know, even getting like a, one of those pictures. I have a picture that I that I have that I fill up with water. It's like 20, 28 ounces and I fill it up in the morning and when I get up, I just, I drink it. You know, I try to drink it down and, you know, I take my vitamins and stuff. And then I try to drink three of those a day. So that's my goal. My goal that I have set for myself is to drink three of my 28 ounce pitchers a day. And that make, and when I do that, I feel wonderful <laughs> internally. I feel really good. Um, um, some of the tips of just knowing when you're dehydrated, you just start feeling sluggish. You just don't feel good. You feel just like, ugh, you know. And so when you drink water, it just it just makes you refreshed on the inside. Um, if you don't like straight water, you can use um, fruit a lot of times to flavor your water. Like I say, you want to stay away from sugar, sugary drinks and a lot of excess sugar. Um, you want to stay away from a lot of caffeine as well because the caffeine dehydrates you as well. So um you know, two, three, four cups a day, you want to kind of stay away from that. And it's easy to kind of get into that routine, especially if you're in the house and you're just kind of lounging around. But, but you want to just be very intentional about, you know, what you're drinking and what you're putting in your body, uh, especially, especially at a time like this one when we're fighting, uh, needing to fight against uh, viruses and, and different things. Even the coronavirus, you know, you want to make sure that you're keeping... Um, your body hydrated well. Um, another thing I would suggest is, um, and of course I said, you know, check with your doctor um, and to see if it's okay for you to take any new supplements or whatever. But what I've been doing is I have, I take vitamin D and um, I actually was diagnosed with vitamin D deficiency um, some years ago. So I have to take it. My doctor has me on it as a regimen. But um, I've just recently been having my husband take vitamin D. Uh, vitamin D is awesome as far as with um, your immune system. It's really, really good with, with, with your lung health. Um, and so we're dealing with the coronavirus and, and different respiratory viruses. You want to make sure that your lung health is, is at its peak. And taking vitamin D is very good with immune and as well as with... Um, lung health making sure that you're you're having good lung health is very important vitamin c um i also take vitamin c i take it twice a day in the morning and in the evening um you want to start 
amping up on the vitamin C um, is really good to do that. Some people, I think my brother, he takes zinc. Um, that's another thing that you can take. Anything, any type of um, um, vitamins that can help your immune system, it would be good um, to start to incorporate in your regimen. I would suggest uh, getting a multivitamin um, and um, taking a multivitamin every day. Um, I also take vitamin E and I've been taking vitamin E for a while now and I love it because vitamin E is so good with cell um, repair and just making sure that your cells are are nice and healthy and, and, and uh, rejuvenated. So I take vitamin E and I also uh, use I vitamin E on my skin and on my hands and stuff. I get vitamin E oil. So um, vitamin E is very good to uh, invest in taking. Now with any supplement that you're taking, you wanna make sure that you are consulting with your doctor. Um, make sure you are consulting with your doctor with, before starting anything. Um, I would also suggest that, you know, people that you start drink eating more vegetables, more green and uh, more. And if you are doing lettuce, doing um, the kale and all of that stuff, you make sure you are washing your lee, leafy greens and stuff off. Get even if it's just doing a vinegar solution and, and washing them off. You know, you want to make sure that you are cleaning your 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 um your uh, vegetables well. Um, so yeah, um, I just like I said, those are a couple of things that I've been taking um, that I can kind of share. Um, you want to like I said, check with your doctor um, and make sure that you. Um, are within the range to be able to take these things because what you don't want to do, you don't want to um, take too much of something or especially if you don't need it. Um, you don't want to, you know, um, I know with some of the vitamins, your body can get rid of it. Um, if in excess of it, it'll get rid of it. And then some of them, it will drive your levels up. So you want to just really make sure, um, just make sure that your, um, your, your levels are where they need to be and um, just start taking, start drinking orange juice. I would suggest that, you know, taking the vitamin C, eating, um, just eating healthier, eating healthier, stay away from all of the sugar because the sugar really uh, is it, just not good for your immune system. Um, drinking plenty of water, getting plenty of rest. Um, just doing whatever you need to do to keep yourself in a peaceful place. Uh, my suggestion, you know, and it's just for me is, um, you know, my relationship with God, but you know, I know everybody believes differently and that's, you know, everybody's prerogative to believe how well you believe, but whatever you need to do, you need to keep yourself in a peaceful place. Um, and that, and that in turn helps your immune system be strong and healthy and um, where it needs to be. Um, of course, if you are coming down with symptoms, um, follow the protocol and procedures that um, your healthcare provider is recommending and um, just, some, just allowing yourself time to heal. And I know a lot of people are anxious to get back to normal and get out there and get everything back open. But I really think that we need to really be very cautious about how we move forward and not rushing to do things um but just being very wise with um you know our, our governments and stuff need to be wise with how we proceed and and we need to also be wise for our own self and for our home and doing whatever we can to keep ourselves in a a, a safe and a well healthy place um, so yeah, so I say blessings to everyone and, um, hope that you're able to implement some of the things that I've been doing, the vitamin D, the vitamin C, the vitamin, um, vitamin E, uh, drinking the orange juice, drinking plenty of water, getting plenty of rest, uh, de-stressing, um, and, you know, 
I think that that would uh, be good. And if I think of anything else, I'll make another video to share with you guys. So uh, blessings to you. Hope all is well and see you soon.